my cake lovelies and welcome to day three of the cake dream to cake this challenge today we will be talking about pricing your custom cakes and this is a very important topic in our cake community i know many cakers go around from forum to forum from facebook group to facebook group from whatsapp group to whatsapp group asking what they can charge for a specific type of cake now remember I mentioned to you guys that we are busy rebranding and we are busy with the website and I have a cake pricing guide for you guys and um, it's currently in the process of being um, designed and uh, I just really want to, to let you guys know that something cool and exciting is coming your way. I'll have for you guys a free cake pricing guide and I'll definitely let you know as soon as the website is on so that you are able to download that as well. So today we will be, I will be guiding you from that cake pricing guide how exactly you can market your custom cakes. Now I pushed this topic to day three because I wanted you guys to be in a positive frame of mind when you um, are actually, when we are discussing this topic together. So if you've not um, already um, you know, watch the first two days of this Cake Dream to Cake Base Challenge. Please do go back and watch day one and two. You have the weekend to catch up. Make sure that you are um, posting your uh, comments in the group, your homework comments in the group. Um, and also tag your accountability partner. Even when you are watching, as you are watching this, tag your accountability partner. Remember, you can tag your partner by typing the symbol at that you using your email address at and then the name of your accountability partner. Um, when you t uh, pop in the first name, when you type the first name, then Facebook will already tell you people with similar names and you can just search and click the name of your accountability partner and that will tell them that you are here watching this um, and they can come along and watch with you. So tag your accountability partner, whatever you do in this challenge, make sure you are tagging them and they are coming along and that you guys are holding one another accountable. Don't shy away from messaging one another. This is all about creating community. It's about supporting one another, growing together, and you know, building those thriving um, cake businesses that we all deserve to have. Um, and if we've not yet met, if this is your first time watching this, or if this is your first time meeting me, welcome. My name is Esther, the Cake Queen. I help overwhelmed and passionate cakers transition into owners of rewarding and profitable cake businesses. So that is what I do. We have a cake community here on Facebook. We have a Facebook group, Esther's Baking Academy. If you're not a part of it, make sure you join that. Guys, remember, this is a pop-up group. It's only for the purpose of the challenge. It will not stay up long. Long, I will bring it down as soon as this challenge is over so as soon as the challenge is over um, you will not be able to view this live or, or these um, um, video series make sure make sure that you are taking those notes download your workbook print it out and you know get your pen and paper ready because today we will be diving into a very important topic and I know you will need to take those notes um, because we will get into really how you can price your custom cakes um, I also promised you guys that today I will be mentioning those amazing prizes that are up for grabs, right? Um, I'll be telling you guys what is up for grabs. I'll be telling you guys what you can win. So if you take part in the challenge all four days, you watch the live trainings and you answer your homework activity in the comments in the Cake Dream to Cake Base group, then you stand a chance after completing all four days, you will stand a chance to win one of these amazing prizes that I'm going to mention. Um, and of course, there will be a special prize for you if you attend the masterclass. So I'll be announcing the winners to the challenge in the masterclass. The masterclass, remember, will take place um, on Monday, 27th of July in the Facebook group right here, right? We will have the masterclass. And I want to let you know, um, please do attend the masterclass. It's very important. I'll be sharing you, uh, with you guys my five secrets to get returning clients. I'll talk about some myths in the cake industry, busting some myths and I'll be sharing facts about baking in the business of baking. Um, so now let's get into the prizes. The prizes that are up for grabs, don't mind me looking down because I'm just getting into my notes. The prizes that are up for grabs, the first one is a Facebook audit. Now if you have a Facebook business account for your cake business, 
that means that you stand a chance for me to go and audit your Facebook account to give you a review and tell you how you can get returning clients, how you can actually drive sales from your Facebook business account. That is one price. Another one is a one-to-one, -one, one hour coaching session with yours truly, that's me. Um, I will be coaching you, going through your business, helping you craft a strategy so that you are able to um, have a profitable cake business. So I will be coaching you for one hour. Um, I like to break it into 30, se uh, 30 second sessions um, and I like to send a questionnaire to my clients before we do the coaching session so that I know what your goals are and after establishing your goals, after assessing um, some of your needs, then we will go into how exactly we can move that business of yours to the next level. So that is a one to one, one hour coaching session with me and I'll be helping you guys to uh, craft a strategy for your cake business. I'll help you come up with some marketing tech. Uh, strategies some marketing tactics how exactly you can market in your local area and uh, stand out from competition you know just um, be the true person that you are and make use of the talents that are unique and special to you um, and then um, the last price that I have for you guys I will only announce in the uh, masterclass that is on the 27th of July. So when you attend the masterclass, I will announce this very special price that I have. I think this is by far the price with the highest value. Um, and and um, it pinched me a little bit to give you this price, but I feel like during these difficult times, it's very important that we support one another. Um, and, and that is why I wanna give you this price because I really feel that the person that wins this, it will really serve as value to them. So if you are attending the masterclass, from those that are attending, I'll make a live draw and um, I will actually do that draw in front of you and I'll let you know who the winner is to that price. Remember all these um, uh, I will be announcing only on the day of the masterclass that is on the 27th. For now, remember you have the weekend to catch up and if you are watching this, um, on replay just make sure that you skip the first few minutes of the session so that you're able to catch up on the real content for today just some random announcements there for you guys uh, just to know uh, what I'm up to what we've been up to um, I've been sending you guys emails make sure if you registered for the challenge make sure that you are um, reading your emails if you are not getting my emails check your junk mailbox it might be there and spam me so that it can go into your main mailbox all right um, it should come from in touch at estesbakingacademy.edu.na or it should come from the email address esther at estenanus.com. So those are the two email addresses uh, that I'm using. Um, so make sure you check your inbox if you registered, if you signed up for the challenge. If you've not yet signed up for the challenge or if you are just joining me now, it is absolutely fine. You have the weekend to catch up. So don't worry about that. Just go back and watch the first two videos. Um, and make sure you complete the homework exercise, post in the group and tag your accountability partner and you stand a chance to win. And then tomorrow we will be doing a cake vision board exercise. So guys, shall we jump into it? Alright, so now we are going to jump right into how to price your custom cakes. Now pricing is a very big um, challenge in the cake community because um, we as cakers have this tendency of trying to compare ourselves with the next caker, with the next baker, or trying to average our prices with the industry mark, okay? So we want to know how much a certain cake would cost and how much everybody is charging for that, um, for that type of a cake before we set our price and we feel like, oh yeah, if I charge that price and everybody else is charging that, so if I take the average of that and I charge it that way, then I'm safe. I don't really, from a personal perspective, and I know that we all have views, from a personal perspective, I do not feel that is the right way to price your cakes because not everybody in the industry is um, having the same costs as you. You don't know what's happening in the next person's kitchen. And I'll just go through the I'll just go through the costs that are involved in actually setting up your prices so that you are able to really make a good reflection and take a good look at what your pricing will look like. Um, let me take a sip of water. Mm, that's so good. 
So um, what I'm trying to bring across here is the fact that you need to be the person that is setting your own prices based on the cost that you're incurring. And I know cakers are worried and scared about pricing their cakes above somebody else or their cakes being more expensive, right? And that is absolutely natural because you don't want to lose clients. But, um, you know, one of the things that I teach in my courses is that if you know your ideal client and if you brand and market your business and if you reflect yourself to your ideal client and if you speak to your ideal client in everything that you do in your business, then you should not have a problem with pricing your custom cakes. Obviously, you will have a problem pricing your custom cakes if you're baking for everybody. And not everybody is your client, right? Not everybody is going to buy from you. And that is the biggest mistake that cakers are making in the industry. They feel like everybody is their client. Um, they don't even take a look at what their unique skills are. Uh, maybe you are skilled in baking certain type of cakes and that is where I teach about niching in, 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 um, in my pay programs. How to niche your cake business so that you are able to choose a market that is unique to your skills and abilities and work in that. Um, and, and you know sometimes we want to do everything and that is really draining and it does not bring us our ideal client. We don't speak to our ideal client. And guys um, I don't really want to dwell on that too much let's talk about pricing because I know there is just so much that I can share with you guys but I don't have all that time right now so I mean those are all the background details that you need to look at before you actually come up with the pricing structure for your cake business you need to look at a niche that you can work in you need to look at um, who your ideal client is you need to study your ideal client and you need to do everything in your business that speaks to your ideal client because not everybody is your client and you cannot obviously bake for everybody. Remember, I'm looking down at my notes and also taking track of my time um, as I'm looking away. So I hope you're not bothered by that. So let's get let's dive deep into some of the um, items or some of the expenses that you need to um cover or consider when pricing your custom cakes because pricing is all about expenditure you are pricing your cakes based on the expenses that you incurred in your business based on the expenses that you incurred in getting that cake done from scratch to that beautiful masterpiece that it is right so those are all expenses involved so let's take a deep dive and let's get into some of those things that you need to look at um, the first one is marketing okay you need to look at what your marketing costs are what are you doing in your business right now with respect to marketing do you have a website that you're running that is maybe um, charging where you have to pay a service provider a, a monthly fee um, do you have telephone calls that you are doing um, obviously those would be admin costs um, uh, what are the marketing costs that are re relevant to your business? Do you have admin, uh, sorry, business cards that you've printed or that you're maybe printing every three months? Take that and look at the average number of cakes that you're baking per, 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 per month, right? So say if you're, um, if you are perhaps um, having a marketing expense of $100 and your average um, number of cakes per month is 10, that would be $10, right? So you want to take your marketing costs as $10 and that $10 would be a flat rate on all your cakes for your SA marketing expense because that is what your marketing is yielding for you. And I know that there are indirect methods of marketing. There are things like word of mouth, like you did not really market to get that cake um, to you. Um, maybe someone that already ordered from you actually brought that to you, but these are all um, um, as a result of what you did previously. Maybe the client that initially ordered from you ordered from you as a marketing, um, as a result of a marketing expense. Okay, so another cost um, factor that you need to take into consideration is your ingredient costs, right? You need to work out the ingredient cost per cake order. Some ingredients may already be in your stock and others might you might need to purchase. Um, so you don't want to take um, a 10 kilogram or a 5 kilogram of flour um, that you bought for a specific cake and... You, obviously you won't finish all that in one order 
you don't want to charge all that batch for one client or per cake excuse me so you want to look at your average costs as well and um, obviously we can deep dive into that and, and really look at each and every uh, how exactly you can um, cut or bring down those expenses so that you come up with a realistic value um, for the ingredient costs but if I can roughly say how to calculate your ingredient costs make sure that you look at how much ingredients um, that you are sourcing for a cake um, remember certain cakes would um, require you to get ingredients that are not usually in your pantry so you would need to actually go out and source certain ingredients for example maybe if you're a person and your clients like vanilla cakes and all of a sudden a client comes and they want a carrot cake you would need to go buy those cinnamon and the ingredients and the spices that go in a carrot cake um, that are uh, probably not in your cake pantry and you need to add that cost so all those costs obviously for the carrot cake would go into the price of the carrot cake because you will not finish I mean you would have finished the carrot cake ingredient so you want to charge for all of that but where ingredients are not being completed like um, a bottle of of, of, of salt for example will not finish on one cake so you want to keep that and, and you want to stretch it or uh, stretch the cost of salt over time so that you don't charge it um, all of it on one cake order so look at how you can work around and I have a cake pricing calculated showing you exactly how to do that that you can purchase um, but then for now what I can share with you is look at how you can share or, or spread your costs for your ingredients over your cake orders because certain ingredients last long they have a longer shelf life while others don't really last long and they complete um, immediately for example you will not be keeping your buttermilk or your cream cheese in your um, fridge for a long time because you will need to finish that as soon as you buy it simply because they have a shorter shelf life so look at your ingredient costs the, the, the next um, cost that you need to look at is ingredients sourcing okay so what are the costs related to getting your ingredients maybe you need to use public transport you need to fill up your car so that you can get from point A to point B uh, maybe you need um, if that for that if you've not created the figurine for example the cake topper that you're using for that cake you've used um, the services of another cake supplier then you would need to order that and it would be courier to you it would be posted to you so what you want to do is you need to look at some of the costs that are related to sourcing your ingredients if you are having to go to the supermarket to get your ingredients you want to include the cab cost for that um, in, in, in your cake cost and obviously as I said some of these costs should be spread out over orders some of them are specifically only for that order so you want to make sure that you um, actually um, have that client pay for that cost um, so if say for example you um, uh, the, 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 the sourcing cost um, the client wants a figurine and the figurine or the cake topper that is going on top of that cake was posted to you from another place or from um, a different part of um, your country or whatsoever it may be then that cost is solely for that client right but if there are other orders in that postage a postage cost you want to spread it out so that you don't charge the client for a cost that is not related to their order okay so take a look at your ingredient sourcing costs okay okay so the next set of costs um, that you want to look at is your baking costs so now your baking cost um, basically means the number of hours that you've spent on the baking process and your baking includes your mixing um, your baking and your cooling hours okay so you want to take a look at how many hours does it take for you to mix to cool and to bake that cake all right after you've worked out those hours the number of hours it takes for you to mix or yeah to mix to bake and to cool you want to look into a hourly rate put an hourly rate for example if it takes you um, how can I put this for example it takes you five hours to, to 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 mix to bake and to cool then you want to say maybe your hourly rate for baking is ten dollars right so your five times ten would obviously give you fifty so fifty dollars would then be your baking cost for that specific order all right 
then the next one is your decorating cost now decorating is more complex and it requires a, a bigger skill level um, or a higher rather a higher skill level than baking um, because of all the complexities that are involved in the decorating process the finishing and all that so now um, obviously I'm looking at my notes so don't mind me looking away so you want to look at the trimming the sculpting the stacking crumb coating final coating the ganaching the covering of the cake with fondant toppings and putting final decorations or finishing touches to that cake you want to consider that and put an hourly hourly rate how much did it take for you to make those sugar flowers how much did it take for you to do the finishing touches to that cake right maybe it took you six hours it took you 13 hours and you know it really takes long to decorate right um and some of the decorations that you're putting on cakes um you would make them way before you get that order for example the decorations um, on, on one of my cakes here, I made them way in advance before I get uh, before I even started on those projects. So um, Always consider the amount of time it takes. All right Don't say because you have it in advance that it didn't take you time because you prepared it in advance um, It didn't take you time, right? You took time from your personal schedule for your business to actually do that So it's labor. So you want to look at your decorating cost per hour put a rate to that obviously um i like to put my decorating costs a little bit higher than my decorating cost because there is a greater skill level required in decorating cakes um so look at your decorating cost and put a higher rate per hour and multiply that by the number of hours that you spent on that cake then the next one is cake toppers, figurines, fruits, flowers that you put on the cakes, okay? Um, now, in case you did not um, spend time on your figurines, your flowers, in cake toppers, right? You maybe purchased it from another supplier, from another cake artist, then you want to put that cost directly. How much did it cost you to get those flowers done for you? How much was the cake topper? How much did the figurines cost you? How long... Um, um, I mean, yeah, basically how much it cost you if you sourced it from someone else. But if you did it yourself, you want to include it in your decorating hours because you actually took time to decorate them yourself. Okay, so that is a flat rate. Um, obviously, depending on the, the, the price of the figurines or the flowers or the fruits or whatever cake topper that you're using costs you. Then next you want to look at cake supplies, okay? What cake supplies are you using in your order? Okay, your, your cake supplies will basically include um, the cake drums, the dowels, um, you know, anything special that you buy, uh, the packaging that you buy for that cake, specifically for that cake. Look into the cake supplies. Um, certain orders are so huge, you need to get more paper towels in the kitchen. I like to use paper towels because my dish cloth tends to get dirty and, and dyed from all the cake work. So I don't like to use my personal dish cloths um, for my cake business. I like to use a, a paper towels. So... Uh, maybe you bought that paper towel specifically for that cake order. You want to then include those in your cake supplies for that specific order. So look into how many cake supplies you bought. The cake drums, the dowels, the, the paper towels. Maybe you bought garbage bags because some orders are so huge and there's so much uh, trash happening and that you're disposing so much trash and you want to put that in a garbage bag and, you, and it actually costs you to go buy that. So include that cost. Obviously spread the cost if you're completing or if you're finishing a supply in one cake order you want to include the entire cost but if you are going to use that specific supply for more than once then just uh, include the amount spread it out over time and just include the amount um, that it, it that it actually costs for that specific cake um, that was ordered then you want to look into hygiene and cleanliness and clean up how much did it cost i think i already mentioned this um the disposing of stuff how much did it cost you uh what hygiene measures are you taking maybe you bought detergent maybe you bought anything around hygiene gloves that you're using masks that you uh, you are using especially during COVID 19 if you are doing a cake right now you want to wear a, a, a face mask so maybe you bought one a disposable face mask. How much did it cost you? Additional paper towels, plastic wraps, sanitizers, um, anything that you're using to, to, to clean up your counter. Any hygiene measures that you are taking that is actually bringing a cost to your business. You want to include that also as part of the cost. 
um, and then the most important one gas or electricity depending on how you what type of energy you use in your home to uh, to bake uh, what will your gas bill be per cake okay how much cake uh, how much electricity will your oven use and that you would need to work out yourself you will need to um, see how much electricity or gas you are using over time and you need to put a monetary value remember some of what I'm sharing you will not immediately get the costs but over time you should be able to get an average cost per, per cost uh, or per, per expenditure item you should be able to get an average cost as you're baking more cakes right and as you learn from this exercise you should be able to get more of that okay so another one is water now i know that you will not finish baking your cakes with five liters of water unless there's some sort of magic or hygienic measure in your kitchen Okay, um, you might be washing using a dishwasher, you might be using um, whatever, but there's so much washing up um, that is in the kitchen. Look at how much your municipality charges per liter of water, or look at um, how much you get water from a supermarket per liter, and, and work out a cost and see. Do you use 5 liters of water for a cake order? Do you use 10 liters? Do you use 20 liters? How much water do you actually use? And then put a cost to that and include that cost for that specific cake. And then um, lastly guys, I know you, you guys know I have a little one and um, he's been babysat but he's now whining and I need to leave soon. So um, we want to look into delivery, right? How much, are, what is the flat rate that you give your clients for delivering a specific cake? So give a flat rate. If you are delivering the cake, and I don't advise you to do that because if anything goes wrong, <laughs> it's on you. But if the client picks it up, then it's so much safer on you, okay? So include your delivery cost as well. Now, if there are any other expenses I've not mentioned, be, be careful to, to include those as well, right? And then you should be able to work out your total cost price per cake. I really hope this um, training for today was useful and um, now I'll be giving you your homework exercise so here's to your homework I am going to be sending you three pictures of cakes that I've done two of these and one more that I've done way back in the past what I want you to do is to look at all the details on the cake and I want you to imagine a client came to you and asked you to do those three cakes right what would you charge for those cakes? What would be the total cost? Go back to the pricing training, apply it and come up with a total cost. Then tell me what would be the deposit for each of those cakes. So I'm going to number the cakes one, two, three. And for each cake, I want you to tell me what is the total price for a client and what is the deposit amount for each cake. I want you to reply with that as part of your feedback for today. And that is it from me from, for today's training. I hope you really enjoyed it and I hope that it was useful for you. Um, I'm super excited to um, really just hear what you guys have to say about this. So I'll see you again tomorrow.